Yes, family! So, today's the big day. My quails have officially been in their aviary for one night. Last night, if you follow my pet's Instagram, you would have seen that I was hearing some weird noises from the woods. And it was like, it was a noise that was like, hoo, 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 hoo. but I think it was an owl like mating call or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go check on my quails and see if they're all right. I'm a little bit nervous. Last night, I had a lot of anxiety because I just want them to be safe. I trust in my predator proofing skills, but this is my first coop and I've never had one before. And I don't, you know, there's a lot of unknowns that I just hope I did everything right is what I'm trying to say. So, without further ado, let's get into the UTV. Oh wait, we have a barn cat on the UTV. Hey Molly. Hey Molly. I need to get some mealworms for them and I'll get them some seed too. All right Molly, you're gonna have to get down little lady. I need to drive. Oh, there's a spider on my seat. There's a spider. You, can you see him? Get that web off there, you crazy spider. Bye. Bye. Doop. This is what you do. You gotta pick the spider up by the web. Don't go. He's crawling up to my finger. Okay. You guys, I got a lot better with bugs living in Florida. Literally in my coop, there's a huge spider right now. And I can't kill him because I'll feel bad. Let's go to the coop. All right, we're here. I'm actually really nervous right now. We're gonna do a head count, make sure none are missing, make sure there's no digging or anything. Let's see the baby quail. So it looks like they're all in the lavender plant in the corner. Oh my gosh, you guys, Molly. Molly, I thought you jumped off. You came with me? <laughs> Don't worry, Molly's seen the quails before. Hey Molly, you helping me? Well, they're all in that lavender plant. Hi my quails. Hi. Okay, so let me count. I should have a certain number. Oh, they're all huddled up in that. If they like the lavender, I'll get some more and I'll plant some more. Yeah, see? That's so cute. Maybe I'll make a, like a more dense area. They're still all cuddled up. I don't know if you can see, but like between like that, you can see them all cuddled up in there. They didn't even want to go in their hides. All right guys, so we have all the quails. They all survived. Molly! Now I'm gonna do a perimeter check. So it looks like nothing has even tried to get in here last night. I see no digging. I see no picking, no prodding. Do you guys like that? It's a giant elephant ear plant. I planted that. I love it. This is my jungle back here. That all looks good. Some of my little quails. Check out over here. Yep, we are looking strong, baby. Awesome, perfect, this is great. Okay, the first night was a success. Now let's go into the coop, feed them some yummies. Oh, I also locked this. Jay was like, hide the lock. I was like, raccoons aren't gonna find the lock and, and unlock it. I think Molly's a little mad, she has to walk back. Molly, I'll take you back. Just get in the UTV. When I drive back up, you can come up with me. She's like walking carefully on the grass because the grass is wet. <laughs> My fat little barn cat. Okay, so I actually got this lock from a promotion. Well, like, like a PR pack from a toy company. Mattel, I believe. It's called Lock Stars. All right, let's get in there. I don't even think a raccoon will be able to lift this lock anyways. And also, if you guys could help me out, I'm having trouble when I'm inside the coop unlocking this because there's so much pressure pushing out, the lock gets like jammed. So I don't know what I need to do. Oh, and I also have a camera up in here so I can see what they did last night. Hello. Hi, Queens. I got some food. It's gonna be weird now that they can like come to me right here and then we have some worms you guys will get used to me physically standing in your house <laughs> gotta get those worms get those worms yum worms for days have fun they're so little, it's so funny. Excuse me though, misters and madams, I need to get to that camera right over there, so I hope I don't bother you. I'm not gonna hurt you, don't worry. Untie this baby. Actually, I'm not gonna untie it. I'm just gonna take the SD card out. There's the SD card, all right, mission successful. All right guys, so I don't know if you see that I'm wearing my breeches. 
you don't know what these are, these are horse riding pants. I and Jay are going to be riding the horses. I'm gonna ride flight and Tupelo, and then Jay's gonna mostly ride flight. I'm just gonna hop on flight after Jay's done riding. Hey, you wanna come in the UTV? Let's go. You know the drill? Are you a real barn cat? Molly, you wanna ride? She doesn't wanna come back up with me. It's all right, she needs to exercise anyways. You wanna come, Molly? Come, look. Right here, I got a spot for you. Nope. Alright guys, so now we're at the stables and I'm going to be getting the horses and grooming them and then tacking them up and riding them. purple step I just put on the hoof is called hoof hardener and um, it helps their feet because it's a wet and rainy season out here in Florida right now hi their uh, hoofs get thrush and other stuff like that so you want to harden the hoofs My hair is insane and I just have to say like the third-ish time that I've ridden like at this house and maybe like the six-ish, seven-ish time since I got hurt. Um, if you didn't know, I tore my ACL in January. I got surgery for it and um, they really put a hinder on me riding and I wasn't able to ride and riding for me is like my outlet. It's like my passion, my hobby, it's my exercise, it's like what I like to do. And like having that taken away from me while I was hurt was like the worst thing ever. You know, I was really sad, depressed. Like I, I literally bought a house with the stables on it and I had an arena like remade. Like I, I made it a, a nice arena and I couldn't ride. And that was like super depressing. So being able to finally use my knee like a regular knee and it works again and I can ride both horses, not just one horse, but both horses. I am happy as a clam. Literally, I feel like I have a piece of me back. It just feels good to ride again, and those of you who ride know what I'm feeling. I'm just happy. All right, let's continue with the day, which means I have to upload a video. Shout out to my editors, they're awesome. Oh, oh, we're gonna make horse jumps today. Yay, I get to jump again. Oh my God, I'm, so okay. I can't calm down. All right, I have to go, bye. Also, we're building a gym in our garage, so you know, I'm about to look like Popeye with giant muscles. Just kidding, I'm not trying to look like that. No, no, they're back! Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you see all those black bugs? I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's probably like 200 out there right now. You guys, this season happens twice a year. And it's the worst season for your car paint. No! Literally these are called love bugs and it's because, I don't know if you can see what they're doing, but they're all mating with each other. So they'll mate and fly around and then you'll be driving through like this. Like there's millions and millions of these love bugs. And then you'll drive and then they'll get all stuck to your car and they'll get stuck in your house. They're everywhere. This is just the beginning. So it's gonna get so much worse. No! Look at all those bugs. There's so many. 